So we're here in North Caribou Lake First Nation, uh, which is one of Northern Ontario's uh, isolated First Nation reserves. Uh, they're flying communities. I came here a few months ago to do a workshop with youth to kind of ask what's going on in the community, you know, what do young people do, what is there for young people, what do young people want to see happen. And there was a lot of ideas that had come up, one of which was doing a community art project. So this community art project is something that we've been throwing together over the last few weeks to try to um, paint the garage doors on the fire hall in the community. So what we wanted to do is really, uh, you know, take what is three giant white canvases, so three giant white garage doors, and turn them into something that everyone can appreciate. Hello, my name is Clara Adams and I'm 14 years old and I'm here to help paint the doors and I hope the youth could like be more active and more outgoing to make a difference. I think most worried for giving the kids something to do, an opportunity and it's pretty um, remote, it's pretty nice though. Food is good, job is good. Pay is good, everything's good. They were teaching us um, essential skills like positive attitude, like the right attitude to have in a work environment. Uh, it's pretty fun, I liked it. You know, there's a little bit of a lack of opportunity when it comes to little projects like this. You know, just, just the chance to come out and do something like this with the community, coming out to paint something that's been there for a while, it's not something that happens a lot. So it's something that I, I personally believe uh, is going to have an impact. And I hope that not just the project, but having the, the art there and having the, the installation up on the doors is going to be something that's going to stay with the community for a while. And I hope it's something that'll have a bit of a long-term impact for uh, people who call this place home. I think there's a very big disconnect between people who live in the north and people who live in the south. And this is something that happens in Canada, but this is something that happens around the world. And my my professional experience isn't necessarily in First Nation communities. I work in Inuit communities and, and in communities around the circumpolar Arctic. And these communities face the same things. People have, uh, you know, a misconception of what uh, what happens here. I think there's a lack of funding when it comes to various levels of government and business when it comes to First Nation communities and Inuit communities in Canada. Having access to that funding for recreational, artistic, cultural, linguistic projects is going to have such a huge impact uh, going forward. I hope that when we finish the door and we put a quote up at the top, it's going to be something that's going to bring everything together, you know. The door itself is, is really crazy, so I want, I want people to feel like even though there's crazy in the world and there's crazy happening around them, that they'll always have a place and they'll always have a, a place to call home. And I think having both Caribou uh, representing North Caribou Lake First Nation and then having that imagery in the middle really brings out the message that you know, this is home and you'll always have a place here and this is always somewhere that you can, uh, that you should feel safe and you should feel welcome and, and uh, you should feel at home. I hope it has a positive impact. Yeah, but all of us most of the time have to search to find where we belong and more community involvement. I believe that's how we get our young people to know where they come from too. I'm 
I always say we don't know where we're from. We're caught in uh, in between Europeans when they came here and then us. Now we're trying to combine the two and see how we can work together. When I went outside the community for school, it, I didn't have a choice. I had to go. We never gave up the land. We told, them, let's share the land. But that's not happening. We're just being put in a little spot and said, here, this is where you live. I was ashamed to talk my own native language because I was always told to not use it. But, and then our children suffer because of that. But now I think it's time we took back our own culture. So the middle door is really interesting. What we decided to do was we were going to give uh, the people who decided to come out full artistic release. They had the right to do everything that they wanted to do on the door. And while the product is what you would imagine when you give 28-year-old girls paint and say, have at her, you know? You have uh, a bunch of color. Everyone was able to bring what they wanted to bring. Everyone was able to put there. And I think as much as it's crazy, uh, the door and the result that we have, it's, uh, it's still a piece of art. In my art, all over the, year, over the years I've done my art, I've always tried to include native teaching. In that design on the fire door, I try to make it striking, trying to make it simple at the same time. In that parable, I use the teaching of animals travel. When animals travel, they walk with the wind. That way, when the predator trails them, they can know who's following them. Who's, who's. So when you're hunting, you try and go ahead of the animal so he doesn't know you're waiting on the other side. But that's the intent of the animals. Like, they travel with the wind. And that's what I was thinking about with that fire dart. Okay, safety. That's what Fire Hall is all about keeping people safe.